right, welcome to another installment of the Fragments of Silicon Reviews. Four reviews up this week, the first of which is Seven Doors. Solve challenging puzzles and experience seven different atmospheres. Each one is unique, special, and surprising, and will test your mind and awaken your wits. Stay alive until you reach the last door, but beware, as some doors can lead to your demise. Right, so putting all that aside, um, Seven Doors is a first-person... Um, I hesitate to say, like, I guess it's a point-and-click adventure game. Um, definitely a puzzle game. Like, uh, like, um, so it is, yeah, it's seven different rooms, experiences, however they want to frame that. And they do get fairly different about door three. Like. The Pathway of Soulless Men, I think they called it. Like, it's like the first two doors, they're uh, they're straight up puzzle rooms. Like here in the introduction, um, this is a fairly simple puzzle once you know how it works. Um, for reference sake. The goal here is to take the gun, and you will use that as the key to the puzzle. Like, I, I'm trying to refrain from spoiling it, but if Petty doesn't mind, I can mention how you solve the puzzle here. I'm guessing I shoot something? Yes, but the question is, what do you shoot? Oh, this looks like some kind of bell. Um, it's not a bell. Like, is it a book? Is it a what? A book? No. Ah. Ah, kill the old man. Hmm. Yeah, that that's your hint. Dead man. Mm hmm. So, mm -hmm. gotta find a skull or something. Yep. Yeah, the question is where the skull is. Like Somewhere I can get to with a bullet. Well, yeah, that, once again, the it's bullet... It's the fucking chandelier. Yep, yep, I just saw it. And there's your ultimate goal for each room. Getting the skull, which will unlock the door. I'm mm. like, now, is it symbolic? Does it mean anything? Actually, no. No, it doesn't. Is it cooler than adding than having to force numbers to add up to nine? That may be the line of thought here, because <laughs> well, um, th this is something that came up in the pre-show. Um, you know, the publisher, sorry, the developer of the game is called Indigo Studios Dash Interactive Story. Like it's it's something that appears on the splash screen when this thing starts up. The thing is, like, I don't, like, I don't know where the story is here. Like, there, there's no actual narrative going on in Seven Doors. Like, you know, all of the theming, all of the, you know, the, the Seven Doors, um, they don't line up to anything narratively speaking. You know, like, you're, like, you're not breaking through all these locks and puzzles because of something that happened or you know you're looking for something like like the it's like once again I've beaten the game so I can tell you what's at the end of the seven doors um but that would obviously be in spoiler territory like the big time spoiler stuff um yeah, and yeah, room two is, this is where um, the game puts on the big boy pants, so to speak, and engages in actual riddles. 
So the first one is, I mean, I, I, I know, I know two of those, and I'm pretty sure I got the first one. Yeah. The second one, I'm pretty sure is fire. Uh, the second one is a candle. The first yeah. one was fire. Yeah. The set, like, I will. Yeah, one of them is a candle. One of them is not fire itself. Like, or so yeah, I, like first, I said, I didn't, I didn't catch the whole of the first one, but it seemed like fire. Well, it's like I the want you. Third to get one to, is a coffin. Yeah, I want you to get to room three. Um, yeah, you got to need the candle. Um, because room three is where I really had my problems with the game. Because when it was in puzzle mode, pure puzzle mode, um, it's a decent, not spectacular adventure game. Um, once again, uh, the narrative, the lack of any narrative is a bit weird, but as far as it works as a game... It's fine. Like, this is a perfectly fine point-and-click adventure game scenario. Um, yeah, that's but, the one that's a coffin. The one who, the yeah. one who, the one who makes me doesn't want me. The one who buys me doesn't use me. The one who that is a co- uses yeah, me is, doesn't know it. That is a coffin. Um, the other two items are a plant and some like wood chips in a bucket together. Yes, because um. You need like you need something to store. Uh, the, yeah, that plant is one of the items. Like, so on one hand, this is kind of a, a, a hidden object puzzler with more steps, but on the other hand, that does also make it more engaging. That's what this is. Like, that's what room four is. Room three is where things really do change up. Okay. And, not for the better. Yeah, I, me- I meant this one. Like, yeah, the, you know, yeah, the, the issue here is it's much better to show what what the problem is. Yeah. You know. Well, they start having monsters chase you while you're trying to do it. Kind of the reverse. Oh, God. Oh, you have to catch things that are moving? Not quite... I'm like, but well, you're on the right. I'm guessing tra- then. You're on the right track, though. Like, the frick would I, um, I assume it's a small coffin. Yeah, because yeah, I'm I'm looking for a like a large coffin. I'm like, there's no large coffin here. Yeah, it's a, it's a small coffin. Are you sure it's um, like an urn, or is it like an actual coffin? coffin? No, it's an it's an actual coffin. Like, it's a coffin shaped co- coffin that's right there. It's behind you. Keep like. T- it's on the ground. At least I thought I saw it. Like, is it near the um chessboard? Uh, no, actually, I don't think it was. All right, like, so you yeah. like, the, but, but but no, I see object number four. Um, g- g- uh, yes, see that thing on the table? Not that table, the far table. By the bathtub? Um, yes. Um, the yeah, drawer? That dresser. Um, not that. Not the that. White the, the, the black metal basket. Yes, yes. Ah. That's the thing. Yeah, that's the one that really tripped me up. Not gonna lie, I had to look this this one up because you know. You Does it go it, with uh, the plant or is it no, the no, last? No, no, it goes on the fourth one. Yeah. You got, There's a fourth one. Yeah. Oh. Or the first one, rather, whatever. Yeah. The. the, the Whatever numbered one it is. I see. missed this, the fourth one. I thought there was only three. Nope. Uh, there there are four dudes. Can you see what the clue for that one is, quickly? Yeah. I, I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure if it's still active, but... Uh, nice. when you buy it, it's black, when you use it, it's... Oh, okay. Yeah. I was, like, I was yeah, assuming that was a kettle. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, that... That kind of... That, Trip me up because I knew what the vicinity was, but you know, I was thinking more hot coals. Yeah. Let's see. Um, it's gonna be yeah, it should just one. be a coal, not a bucket of coals. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's the coffin. Oh, good. So, yeah. That'll. 
Yeah, and this will open the box, which has the skull. And we get to the pathway of soulless men. <laughs> I'm like, I will say it's not a lie. Oh, you got to get the uh, light. light. What light? For... Oh. Yeah. I was like, this is taking a while to load. Uh, the, uh, yeah. Lighter fluid and the lighter. As, yeah. So here's the other grand type of puzzle. Um, if you can call it a... Well, this is more a puzzle. Room 5, I would not have called a, a puzzle room. That's more a gauntlet of pain. So I can now light fires yeah. and extinguish fires? Yep. Or at least uh, light the way. And welcome to the yeah the museum of Solus Man. Sorry, I was trying to remember what the fuck. Yeah, I'm like, I told you it was a change up. So here's the other kind of puzzle: movement puzzles. Oh fuck this! <laughs> Actually, fuck this. <laughs> oh, that was does my. It, does it let you start in that room? Yeah, I, like you're starting right outside, but I, but you have to get the, you know. <laughs> fuck this with a two by four. So you just have to get your make your way through the room without stepping in. I think that so. Kill you. I wasn't exactly clear on what I was doing. I was just kind of stumbling about until I found the skull and opened the door. Believe me, I died a lot here. Yeah, we're not fucking with this shit on air. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, every time you get caught by the soulless men, it get you get that same jump scare, and then you have to go back. It's like it gets really tedious, really fast. And room five is like this, but arguably worse. Oh because God! It's not even a puzzle. It's just like um, it's the most video gamey level in this game. By that, I mean it's just like bunches of spikes coming down and axes swinging and uh, spinning blades happening. Like, no, seriously, this is this was a that was a level right out of like a 2D platformer. It, except you have to use these jank ass controls to move about and get past things instead of, you know, actual good controls. Like. Now, room seven was where they got the movement things um, interesting in that. Uh, try to guess what puzzle type they use there. You know, it's a popular game. It shows, up in puzzles. it shows up in puzzles all the time. It's chess. Mm, that was yeah. an option, too, for me. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, room seven is is chess. So. Once again, I'm not exactly sure what the, you want. Like, I think it was like every time there was a chess piece there, um, you had to move like it, but that didn't make that didn't quite make sense. Oh, are I you was, the chess piece in that? I guess, but like I was moving, like I was moving around a pawn, not like a pawn. Like, uh. I, I move diagonally, but the only way you do that in chess is when there's another piece there, and there was another piece there. So mm -hmm. that kind of threw me off for a while. Like once again, I, I'm not ex like I'm not exact like because some squares, yeah, you died, and I assumed it was the classic. You you know you have to move like the chess pieces in order to progress, and that seemed to work until you know once again I think the actual rules of chess was getting in my way there a bit. That has happened in other chess games, mm -hmm. yeah. or um you know games with chess like puzzles, mm -hmm. and I suppose to spoil. You know, what's behind the seventh door? A trophy and pomp and circumstance. Uh, like, actually? Yeah, the actual graduation day theme plays. And, you know, you get rewarded <gasps> for, you know, conquering the seven rooms. Like, you get this narration about, you know, how your skills in such and such line up with, you know, the Museum of Soulless Men, for example. And, and you know, like I said, there's no there's no narrative here. Like that's not even a narrative thing. That's a 
literal congratulations. <laughs> Fuck you, Adam. That's how I felt when I got there. <laughs> so, as as opposed to a uh, really confusing uh, description of time travel and possibly involving Ice Nine, <laughs> wibbly wobbly, timey wimey bullshit. Once again, that would have been an actual story. Not this. If any, if if anyone by any chance is confused at, at the jokes I've been making throughout this, I'm making references to the game Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. I figured, you know. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so getting down to the brass tacks, i.e., the price, this game does clock in at a uh, neat four dollars ninety nine cents. You know, five dollars. Um, is it worth the fiver? I'm like, I guess, like, honestly, this is like half a decent uh, adventure game. Um, the other is weird movement bullshit. That was very confusing and not in a good way. Like, I, I, I guess this is what happens when you have to come up with seven rooms. Like, or whatever. But... Yeah, the, yeah, this is only half good. So, and I guess uh, to mention it, room four was uh, dealing with portraits in order to find the key code, and room six was um, using uh, hieroglyphics to translate. Um, I will be fully honest; I used a walkthrough. Um, because after, uh, door three, I was just done with this game. So, yeah. Like, unfortunate. Right then, uh, any other questions, comments, or concerns? Um, doesn't appear to be. So, Good. yeah. be sure to tune in after the break. Um, as... Petty Fan will be reviewing Aquascapers. <laughs> <laughs> 